lawyer and civil liberties expert Asif Arif. Asif, thanks for joining us. Uh, authorities, we heard, are not pursuing this incident this morning as a terror attack. This attacker, however, did have this infamous fichier S that Chris was mentioning. He was on this terror watch list. How closely followed are these people? I mean, you, you were right to, to remind our viewers the fact that today, the, Paris has not been seized in the, the anti-terrorist uh, uh, people are not in charge of this case. For now, it's the common law who is being uh, uh, who is being actually in, into this procedure, and uh, we cannot say today that there is a, a real uh, terror case. Of course, there is this problem. A, a two couple of pro couple of problems happened in this case because first, Daesh has said very close, very little time after this attack that um, uh, that we are behind this attack. And at the same time, we have Gérard Collomb who is saying uh, this, uh, this case is more relevant to a common procedure, which is more... Um, this problem has some uh, psychiatric problems, and we are more uh, going towards a normal procedure case. So the thing is, we should reflect upon the fact that can we take the information uh, uh, as it is given by Daesh, because Daesh in Syria is losing a lot of grounds. So now they are trying. Uh, it, it is my personal view on that, that Daesh is trying to get back on track by saying that any uh, local uh, uh, diverse fact happening is actually the fact of Daesh. But, so we need to be careful in uh, our way of putting information together. But of course, there was another confusion on the fact that this guy is on the terror list, as you remind. It's not actually a terror list. It's more a, a global file which is saying that this guy has some uh, tendencies of radicalization, but not really a terror list, right? Right. More of a watch list, if you like, just to keep an eye yeah, on people exactly, who could exactly. be who could be suspects. Exactly. Thank you so much, exactly. Asif, uh, for taking the time to speak to us uh, there. Uh, uh, Daesh, of course, just to remind our international viewers, is how uh, many countries, including here in France, refer to the Islamic State group. That was Asif 